As a way of introduction, my name is uh, Julian Ellie, and uh, like Andrea was saying, uh, we're, we're building all this uh, tool chain and tooling and infrastructure, but we're also building kind of applied uh, industry specific or vertical specific set of uh, tools and framework to really help our customer kind of extend the reach of machine learning. And so I've been working on uh, health AI and kind of our healthcare business. I've been working on tools like differential privacy to be able to customer to um, share data or consume data in a more private fashion. And I've been working on AWS Panorama and that's kind of what uh, we're going to be talking about. Um, so let's start with, you know, the usual Amazon way of approaching a problem. We're going to start to going to try to structure my presentation. I'm going to tell you about the customer problem and I'm going to tell you what, what we're kind of doing about it. So in the computer vision space, uh, we're kind of in the middle of a massive growth in the production and the creation of visual data. There are about 200 million um, IP cameras that are kind of deployed in the field today in, in, in enterprises. Uh, and those cameras generate like a massive amount of data. But, you know, we estimate about a thousand petabytes of data every day. And that volume of data is growing pretty quickly. Um, we think about 35% year over year. Um, it's a gold mine of information and business insight that, that people have, uh, are collecting and are uh, capturing. But by and large, we're not really doing very much with it. Like only about 2% of the videos that is ever produced or captured is ever analyzed either by a human or a machine. And so that leaves 98% of those uh, recorded camera stream with zero business intelligence, zero insight being extracted out of them. And we think there is a ton of value and a lot of our customers think there is a lot of value uh, untapped for most customers here. Um, you know, even if you have just a few cameras, that's still a lot of data. And so continuously uploading all your camera streams to the cloud, while it is sometimes possible or even desirable, might not be a viable option for a lot of customers just because, you know, not everything in that camera stream is of interest or not everything is worth paying the bandwidth cost to, to, to get it to the cloud. Um, moreover, if you want to take action or have a quick insights on the data, you kind of want a very quick uh, reaction time and a very quick iteration uh, between the event, what's occurring on the video stream and kind of your uh, reaction and the, the decision you're going to be made based on that data. Um, and so it becomes pretty critical to try to do those things uh, with as tight of a loop as possible. And so doing it locally at the edge becomes uh, a pretty big requirement. Uh, finally, sometimes for data privacy reason, you might not want to be storing or sending a lot of that data to uh, other systems or reduce the risk or meet regulatory or compliance requirements. So doing this on premise, uh, doing this locally is is kind of a lot of high interest to a lot of our customers. So in order to kind of address uh, that demand, we've created a product called AWS Panorama. So uh, what is AWS Panorama? We got kind of two high level uh, big component. Uh, we have an appliance which is optimized for computer vision workload that comes with a software development kit. And that software development kit helps you uh, capture, process the video stream, understand the video stream format, helps you connect to the camera. Uh, it also helps you um, monitor and uh, handle the runtime of the computer vision application that will be deployed at the edge, things like log shipping, model loading, kind of the inference execution on the device and so on. And the second half is the kind of cloud-based console and service that helps you manage those uh, computer vision application, manage your appliances, manage your cameras and the camera stream associated with them and kind of bring it all together uh, in a deployment. So let's kind of quickly just walk through what a Panorama app does and the necessary step in order to uh, get a computer vision workload deployed at the edge. Um, so first, I'm going to start with the model. Uh, you can work and uh, uh, develop the model using your favorite set of tools and libraries. You know, we we support PyTorch, TensorFlow, uh, Apache MXNet, um, and and the goal is to kind of help you and obviously use SageMaker <laughs> is is probably the, the easiest way to get your model um, built and 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 refined. 
Um, and so that's that's kind of your first step. Once you're done with that, or as you do this, you also work with kind of the meat of the the, the application, right? The, the the actual business logic uh, that's going to handle your your specific uh, business outcome. Uh, the entry point for that we start with kind of a Python script in this case, uh, but you can complement it with any kind of library in any language you want because at the end of the day we're just packaging it all inside of a container uh, that then gets stored and deployed to to those devices and to those appliances and so that's uh, what we have here in, in step three on the diagram um, the app can then interact either with aws cloud uh, and we help you manage and handle the credential and the roles and how you you know how you can security talk back to kind of your uh, cloud infrastructure and 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 the rest of the pieces of the application, or you can also interact with kind of on-premise other uh, application that would be deployed at the customers. Um, the AWS service itself also helps you with the monitoring, the deploying the update, managing the versions, updating the devices, keeping track of uh, if your application is up and running and healthy, and so on. Um, so, let's talk about a little bit about this is a fun topic is we're, we're, we're also making hardware, uh, which is kind of a departure from our usual uh, service investment. So we built kind of this Panorama appliance device, which is a half rack unit that's um, tried to made it easy to set up and deploy. Uh, it includes two gigabit Ethernet port, which allows for either redundancy or access to multiple network uh, at a uh, good speed to be able to stream or TSP stream or other kind of uh, video stream. Um, it also has a IP62 rating, which means, you know, it's it's water resistant and dust proof. It's it's pretty ruggedized uh, device that allow it to be deployed in somewhat harsh environment. And we're thinking, you know, industrial deployment on the factory floor or, or some other environments that might not be as friendly or clean as a uh, uh, data center type of, of environment when it's placed on a rack. Uh, we also have a ton of security built in onto the device. We really care about our, our customers' um, security. And if we're deploying this on-premise, it, it becomes even more critical. Uh, we're, we're doing all kinds of stuff like disk encryption, secure boot. We have a trusted zone for cryptographic operation. We're doing things like firmware anti-rollback. There's a whole list of uh, cool technique we're using to do that. Um, I'm going to quickly go over a use case. Uh, first one I, I'm going to use as an example is what we're doing at Tyson Food. So Tyson Food wanted to improve the efficiency and understanding of their chicken processing plant. And so as an example, they built a computer vision model that they developed to help them count the number of packaged products that is going through the plant. Um, packaged products are placed on a tray and uh, they need to count, they just need insights into how many trays and how many package product are going by and they need to be able to count that. So the trays are stacked and they keep running kind of how many package product were placed on each layer of the tray. Um, the accuracy is actually quite good and they, they obviously use Panorama in this example to uh, deploy and monitor their their plant. So uh, I'm not sure how the, the little video is going to play into the uh, stream here, but you can see the uh, here you can see them placing package product on a tray and then as we pile up more trays on top we uh, count both the number of package product on each uh, layer and the overall uh, count um, i have another use case but i think you know for the sake of time i'm going to skip on it this one is about the port of cincinnati uh, which is uh, tracking cars or stopping in the load and load area in front of the airport and helping track and uh, monitor people that are spending more time than they should be uh, in front of the airport in the load and load area and kind of help improve the flow of traffic in front of the airport and notify people and help them uh, keep keep it going and, and keep the flow of traffic at the airport. All right, this is very quick, very, very general review of what Panorama does or what it can enable. Happy to answer any question you might have.